Okay, on to our next topic, homeschooling in lockdown. A phased reopening of schools is to start tomorrow with reception, year one and year six primary school children the first to go back. In totally unrelated news, parents of children in reception, year one and year six are to start day drinking again. <laughs> <laughs> but with many people voicing concerns, millions of children will continue to be homeschooled. So let's look at some facts on homeschooling. <laughs> Apparently, only two in five parents feel confident teaching their children at home. 91% of parents <laughs> said they enjoyed spending more time with their children. The other 9%, I feel you. <laughs> uh, now, <laughs> Ranga Nation, hands up who's homeschooling. Uh, and who is finding homeschooling hard? Who's finding it challenging? Uh, uh, football mad, why are you finding it challenging? I've got a year six, mm -hmm. and unfortunately, I think his maths is better than mine because he came to me with a problem. And I tried to solve it, and obviously, I got it totally wrong. And he said, no, Mum, let me teach you. And he taught me and got the correct answer, and I just... I did not understand it at all. Um, do you know what, though, football man? Can I tell you something? Cos I used to be a maths teacher, and one of the best ways for a kid to demonstrate their understanding is to teach somebody else how to do it. So, actually, you were displaying oh. a top-notch teaching skill there, so well done. Uh, absolute genius. Naturally-born teacher. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, never voted. Have you been finding it hard? So, when I say that I've been finding it hard, it's because they're only five and three, so... <laughs> okay. I, I haven't actually opened the stuff the school gave me. <laughs> so I've been, I've been homeschooling as in just teaching kids life skills, how to help me around the house, things that they're going to actually need. <laughs> they do the dishwasher, they put the clothes out on the radiators. You've got your own little sweatshop there, haven't you? <laughs> um, <laughs> Mum, do you think you'd have been good yes. at uh, homeschooling me and uh, my brother? Yeah, I would have been. I was damn strict with you. Yeah, so you, were you have damn done strict. so well. Mm. Yes, I was. Yeah. Uh, I would have done better, yes. Better? Listen, oh I, I, my god. I love you, Mum, but um you were absolutely terrifying when it came to school <laughs> stuff. I remember once, genuine yeah. story. My mum, we had school exams and my mum said to me, um, darling. I'll always love you. Just go. All I ask is you go and do your best. You just do your best, darling, okay? So I went and did the exams, got the results, right? <laughs> she looked at the results and said, What the hell is this? What the hell? Oh my God! I can't even bear to tell your father this is so. Dis why did we? Why did I come to this country? We struggle. We come from Sri Lanka to give you opportunities. You throw it back in our face. I, I swear to you, I promise you, I spent the afternoon hidden under a table and she's just walking around you can't stay there forever you'll have to you'll come out soon enough it was absolutely horrendous jason have you been finding it hard you know first few weeks we had some truancy problems uh but we got through it to be honest and we've been quite lucky really because we have uh we have had some help um, so I've got two babysitters, uh, Netflix and Minecraft. So, Greenfingers, uh, you've actually been homeschooling long before coronavirus. Um, how have you been finding it? Have you got any tips? So, my main advice is just relax and enjoy it. I was homeschooling for about a year before lockdown uh, with my daughter, and we had a great time. And, in fact, I had a visit from a local educational authority lady who told me that you only need to provide two and a half hours teaching one-to-one -one each day, and that's the same as the volume of teaching that they get at school, because when you take out all the faffing about and the putting on your gym kit and going up and down the stairs, you're left to two and a half hours teaching. So my advice is spend the morning teaching and then chill out to the afternoon and just have fun together. Uh, so it's only two and a half hours. I love that. OK, well, what's your language? You, um, you claim to be a languages teacher, don't you? <laughs> uh, have you...? Have you... <laughs> I do, yes. Have you uh, got any tips for amateur teachers watching? Um, for all the parents watching, um, I'm only speaking for myself and not for your schools, but I would just say schoolwork is the second thing you should be thinking about behind spending quality time with your children because you will never get this opportunity again. And as much as everybody's yeah. sending stuff home, and I've, I've never worked so hard, if I'm honest, but um, as the professionals, we can just pick them up when we get back. Don't worry about it. it nothing is going to happen. We've been off for, what, eight weeks? And, it, and we've had two holidays in there, so... It's okay. Well, that is... Do, yeah. do you know what? That is... I love that. that makes me feel Thank better. you. Oh, that yeah. makes me feel better. Genuinely. I love that. <laughs>
yeah. yeah. That is so good. Right. Also, just... like, if they really if they really do become dum-dums, like, look at myself, Jason and Ramesh. There are jobs out there. Well, online lessons can be a godsend for parents, but you can't be certain what you're going to get. Here, a nursery teacher is doing story time online for her pupils, but this story had an unexpected twist. Cupcake flies through the forest and flutters her beautiful wings. She's looking for her playmate. That sounds... <laughs> well, I don't know about the book, but I think those horses had a happy ending. Um, Mum, what were those horses yeah. doing? <laughs> That's exactly what she, how she would answer that question when we were kids going around the safari park. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think they're doing? They're fucking! Are you, are you an idiot? <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, one of the most 